Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos, but I also do others like the one you're about to see here. Once in a while, I see something at Target or wherever I'm at that I know would be of interest to some of you. So I just wanted to do an extra little video, not budget related, but if you are looking for a little planner to help you out with your budget or other ways to organize your life, um, this may be appropriate. So I was at Target a couple days ago and I always check the dollar spot. Of course, it's right near the door, so that's the first thing you see. And I saw these little planners and I thought I picked up a third one um, in office, the office style, but it turns out I didn't. So I got two of them, one Golden Girls and one Schitt's Creek. So if you are fans of either one of those shows, you may want to run to Target just to get your little planner. Um, and I'm going to talk about the construction. I'm going to talk about the price point and I'm going to do a little flip through for you guys um, because these are absolutely adorable. And you'll have to let me know in the comments below, do you think I should do a giveaway for one of these? Because I did buy um, a couple extra. I think I have one extra of each. I know at least I have one extra of Schitt's Creek, but um, let me know what you think, if it would be of interest, um, and we'll go from there. So let's start out with the Golden Girls. I did open this, but I put the little belly band back on it, just so you guys would have the full experience of opening it from plastic up. Um, so this was tucked in here, but I didn't want to stretch it out again, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And... I'm not quite certain how I'm going to use mine. And let's just talk about the most important thing. These are three bucks. These are $3. Um, so 96 sheets, which is, you know, a, a nice size. Um, they are hardback. And of course they have this elastic, which is really nice for some of you who just like the look of that, or some of you who overstuff your planner or use it till it's almost falling apart. These are always um, really handy and functional too. So, um, you can see it has ABC down here. Interesting. Um, so these must be sponsored by the various, no, this one isn't. This one just says officially licensed product. Anyway, I'm sure it has to do with the licensing. Um, but here you have Sophia, Dorothy, Blanche, and Rose. So let's, um, open it up and do a little flip through, but this is really nicely made. And for $3, honestly, if you don't need this to keep track of like important stuff, use it for tracking habits or I don't want to say important stuff because that was the wrong word. But um, if this isn't big enough for you to track your budget or to, for you to track your bills, use it to track your habits, um, maybe medications that you take every day, or maybe you're trying to um, track your water intake or gratitude. There could be so many uses for this because you'll see there's a lot of space. Even though this is a relatively small size, there's a lot of space for writing. So um, you have like the little palm fronds in the cover, which is cute because it just goes along with the whole Florida um, atmosphere ambiance from the Golden Girls. And then here you have um, the characters too. And then opening up on the first, um, I guess, section is back in St. Olaf. And then you have a picture of Rose and then Gigi for Golden Girls. And then these are undated. So if you can find one and you want to start fresh for January, great. If you found one and you want to start it for, you know, go back and back plan for December, maybe you're keeping track of what you're spending, whatever the case may be, you can do that. So you have your monthly um, view here and then you have your weekly. So you have what would be, I guess, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Uh, how would this work? Hmm. There's like extra spaces here. So maybe notes. How would Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't know. I guess there's lots of options. But anyways, it's a weekly view. Regardless of how you set it up, um, it's still a weekly view. weekly view. You could set up, you could start notes up here and start this one on Monday. You could do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I don't know. You could do Saturday here and use this as um, like a tracker. 
but you could do it any different way. So you have your first week, second week, third week, fourth week, fifth week, which is really nice because sometimes, you know, the months don't wrap themselves up nice and neatly within four weeks. So it's nice to have that extra just in case you have a couple extra days here. So then you have, <clears throat> you truly are one chromosome away from being a potato. So that's Dorothy, of course. Um, and then on repeat. And then you have her face down here. This is really, really cute. Um, lots of different things that you can track with this. Blanche, isn't it amazing how I can feel so bad yet looks so good? I mean, they really like capture the characters. Sophia, picture it. Sicily, of course. Um, and then it just goes from there. So it's on repeat, of course, because you have 52 weeks. And you have four characters. So they're going to do um, some repetitive characters through, throughout here. And let me see. That's cute. So these are like Technicolor. Is it Technicolor? Monochromatic? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Chromatic? Um, kind of artwork throughout. And this, to me, this looks a little bit like an old timey diner font. Um, but this is really, really cute. So if you know, oh, and back here, of course, you have lots of just plain white pages, lined pages for notes or future planning or maybe addresses. I, it's funny, the older I get, the more I rely on something similar to an address book. And I just realized that when I was doing our Christmas cards recently and I have all our addresses saved on an Excel spreadsheet which is great um but I don't know sometimes I just like to see things on paper and you know kind of work from there and I set up my my personal budget notebook it's a travel an oversized traveler's notebook that I don't show you guys typically because it has like all my like really sensitive information in there like accounts sometimes passwords, you know, things like that. Stuff I can't share on the internet, period. Um, but I was thinking, maybe I should write down all our addresses in there because I use one of just one a year and I would just be writing everything down once a year. So I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking about that. But anyways, if you know somebody who is a fan of the show, um, you know, I just think that this makes a really cute stocking stuffer or it just makes a really cute like little New Year's gift, you know, starting off the new year, here's, here's a card, here's a little planner. Um, but <clears throat> if you're like me, use it yourself, you know, use it for different things. I use lots of different notebooks and planners for different purposes in my life. So there's no shame in that. I know a lot of people are like, how do you keep track of so many planners? How do you keep track of this? You know, and I guess once you're in that system and you're kind of in that mode, it it just seems second nature. Um, I got to the point where I think it was last year, or the year before, just because of like everything going on. I think it was last year. I was like, I can't do this. Like, I just can't use this in my notebooks. I wasn't feeling motivated. I wasn't feeling organized. I wasn't feeling like I had anything going on besides like going through the motions. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. But now, you know, life is turning again. And, you know, I'm, I'm feeling re-energized about many things in my life. And of course, this channel, my budget, my goals, that's all part of it. And I, that's when I get into the mode of, you know what, I want a planner just for this. And I want a planner just for that. And that's kind of how I like to do things. Now, some years it works, some years it doesn't. And like, like I said, during quarantine and the, you know, with the pandemic happening, um, I think a lot of people's outlooks change on how they were doing things, um, in many aspects of life. But for me, planning and budgeting, it just, it took a hit, um, as something that I really enjoyed and something I was motivated about to something I was like, I just got to get this done. And that's why my channel kind of faltered. And I, I just didn't have it in me. And, and now, you know, things are getting back to normal. And, you know, it's all about mental health and staying positive and making sure that, um, you know, you're not letting anxiety or feelings of depression take over. Where did I come off getting on that subject? Good Lord. All right. So I hope that wasn't too depressing for you. Um, trying to remove the belly band carefully in case... Do you end up giving this away? Or I, I guess I can keep this one. That's kind of silly. All right. So 
there's that. Welcome to Schitt's Creek. It's got the font from the show. This is one of my favorite shows. The Golden Girls is one of my favorite shows too. I mean, I just remember watching it when I was younger. And mm, sorry, I have a cough and I'm using my my drink up Grinch's little Ray Dunn travel mug that my husband got me for early Christmas. All right. So here you have little motel signs. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Just like in the show, um, of course, the show, the backdrop sets against uh, a little, um, like a roadside motel. And then you have your little key and the name. And then, of course, you jump right into your monthly layout. This looks cleaner to me for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the color scheme. I I'm not sure. And then you get in <clears throat> into the same thing, um, you know, your weekly layouts. So let's see. Rosebud Motel, okay. I just had that one. Oh, these are all the same. Okay, so whereas Golden Girls had like different characters and photos, you're gonna get the same thing every single month, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it doesn't lend itself to being super um, super illustrated, you know, a lot of creativity with the illustrations. It's just the same thing. It's on repeat. Um, I thought you would see more characters, but you know what? The more I think about that, maybe that has to do with licensing. You know, maybe they're not allowed to use their likenesses, um, <clears throat> because I don't see any of them in this piece itself. I see them on the belly band. Oh, if you're it. with me for my, I just had to take a break. If you're with me for my last budget with me video, I busted off the Sucrets. I have a cough. I don't have COVID. I even got tested. But um, these are so good. Does anybody still buy these besides me? I love these little boxes. And I like to keep them for like um, bobby pins and little odds and ends. But anyways, um, so that's the Schitt's Creek one. And like I said, I don't see their likeness in any part of the actual product, the actual book. But they are in the belly band, so... This obviously is a licensed, officially licensed product. Oh, it even says that, official licensed product. Um, but it might have something to do with not being able to use their likenesses within the pages. I don't know, it's still cute. It looks like, you know, a little old timey register book, you know, which is probably what it's supposed to look like. Um, but <clears throat> this is really nice. This is a little bit, um, you know, less whimsical than the Golden Girls version. It's still really adorable. And like I said, I'm a huge fan of the show. Um, this could not be a miss for me. I really, really like it. So let me know what you think or which one's your favorite or which show is your favorite. You know, did you enjoy this when you were younger or did you rediscover it, you know, in syndication later on? You know, they play it all over the place um, <clears throat> on the weekends, especially. Um, and, you know, did you watch Shit's Creek? Did you like it? Did you like the way it ended? I mean, there are so many things I could say about this show. But um, the only standout comment I have is I wish they would have, I don't know, maybe followed into the characters like after it ended. I mean, I don't want to say anything about how it ended, but I think there's a lot of storyline that's still available there. So who knows, maybe there'll be a movie or something like that. But um, this is what I wanted to share with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, when I see something that I think you might be interested in or might be helpful for you in your organization journey or your planning or budget, um, I like to share it. And um, especially if it's coming from the Target dollar spot, it's like, oh, run now or you're going to regret it, you know, because they just sell out so quickly. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope that you tune in for my next video. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would really love if you um, decided to do so because I have a lot planned for 2022 for this channel. And like I said, I have my motivation back for uh, so many things and um, I'm really excited to share the journey with you and also um, to do some upcoming chatty turn the camera around, have some face-to-face -face conversation videos with you too. So I hope you're doing great. I hope that you're enjoying the season, regardless of whatever holiday that you are celebrating. Um, for us, it's Christmas at our house, so we are down to the wire with wrapping and, um, you know, finishing up all the odds and ends. Um, but I'm also just trying to enjoy the process too, not just like plow through it and, you know, get it done as fast as possible. I'm trying to enjoy the moments um, because that's what it's all about. So anyway, hope you guys are doing great and I will see you in my next video. Take care.